Welcome to this look at another cracking new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on Altaika Vestervold. This is a new mod map out by Carla. I might have got a, I, I was always saying Kaz and then got in trouble. I think it's Carla. 326.66 megabytes to download. There are five required mods on this one that download automatically. Hessian Farm, Silo and Containers, Old Grain Mill, Fire Department and Farmer's Market. Four by Bernie SCS, one by Bernie MW. Contracts are available. There's no additional crop types have been added in. There are five farms. We start on New Farmer with this one, uh, Verlehof which is just in front of us. We're going to look around that, and then we'll go around the map. It's not a, a huge map, as you can see, um, but it's packed with stuff. Again, you can see, and that's not including the other four farms that we need to buy. There's a couple of pastures, um, and there are there's a building site at the top here. There's a couple of areas for um, placeables and expanding, and extending, and doing cool stuff like that, if that's what you're into. Slot count is 1,026 on New Farmer. Farm manager and start from scratch, that comes down to 849, the difference being you don't have any of the machinery and equipment. You do still have all the buildings at all the farms, and all of the farms have animals on them as well. So I went round um, off camera, bought all the farms, removed all the animals, removed all the buildings as much as I could. There was one farm that I couldn't remove the decoration, all the rest I could. I got the slot count down to 781. You might be able to get lower because there's a couple of plots that have got sheds on which we might be able to remove as well. We've got a couple of um, additional productions added in. Talking of which, um, on top of those five required mods, if we go into build mode and we go to sheds, I think sheds was the only thing here where we had a couple of things added in um, by the map maker. Everything else was required mods. So, let's go into Velohov. Open the gates. Sleep trigger just to the side here. Chickens built into the, the building. We've got 11 out of 360. Uh, we have got our Valtra just here, and we've got a cow barn. But the cow barn is kind of cow barn, cow pasture, kind of joined together. A lot of the equipment and machinery, I, I love the fact it's... Um, it's all dirty and looks like it's been used and you know, that kind of thing. So we have a seed silo here which can be filled up 27,300 litre seed silo. Barn and building space with our farm equipment that we start with. Like I said, 1,026 and our start equipment with our seeder, spreader, cultivator, uh, grasswork equipment, tedder, windrower, mowers. We come out the other side of here. And around the corner we do have a feed silo which is just here part of the required mods that one and then we've got a trailer forage wagon tucked away in here and plow we have got a roller we have got a baler in here then over here we've got our harvester header and header trailer we do have a muck spreader just in there we are going to use this tractor to go around actually we have a tank here, bale and pallet storage. We do have bale and pallet storage, all the farms. 250 items in the bale and pallet storage. And again, the silos vary, um, but they are all within the required mods. This one, I want to say it was a 2 million litre. Pretty sure it was a 2 million litre silo. This one just here. Uh, manure heap just next to us. Silage clamps just here. And if we jump the fence... You'll see we've got some cows in the field already. This is a this is another... I don't know what's going on at the moment. Today's mod reviews, both maps are gorgeous. I mean, I mean you've got to remember as well, Carla did um, Fruling, which was one of those maps I absolutely love. I think Fruling's a phenomenal map. Uh, what do we also have? Raybach, um, St. Carla. What else? Oh, the White Farm, I think, was... Um, I'm sure that was... Uh, all of them phenomenal so whilst the farm is there the dialogue box is up the road here so it kind of makes it a, a pasture-esque type thing so dialogue box here we've got five out of 80 while we're up here what i'm going to do is just turn my attention very quickly across the road because we have now come out of the farm and we're in the pasture here so this is what we start with our new farmer so this is all new farmer owned 
so this is what we start with on new farmer um but plot 40 which is just here which is 100 grand i haven't got enough for it let me just do that i'm gonna put some money in. i'm gonna have to um if we go back up to there so that one there plot 40 if we buy that do that that and that we have another pasture opposite well i say that is more barn but this is pasture just here and it does have cows in it we've got eight out of 80 in this one just here now these can all be sold all the buildings that's at the farms and the pastures here they can be sold if you want to sell them you don't have to sell them it's entirely up to you so what we're going to do is head down the road and go and look at them on the first productions so that's the main farm that we start with Velohof. and then we're going to go can this little side turn in here we'll go and get that tractor in a moment and we will begin our tour around but we come to this point here so we're at plot 41 and this is farm and garden production so we buy the production for 6,000 which is fine but we still can't open the buildings which I thought was a bit peculiar we've got a greenhouse here so if we go to our plot we come down to here so this one plot 41 that's 21,168 do that and that and then the, the icons come up and the triggers come up for our farm and garden production we can open these doors now because we own the land and if we click on that now or we can click on it before we've got mixed salad strawberry jam and strawberry milk can be produced here and then we have got a large greenhouse just here which can supply that if you want to or you can place greenhouses wherever you want of course so that's the farm and garden production i'm going to go across the way and let's go and grab the tractor and let's head on round, shall we? I, I do like the... I've been saying it a lot on mod reviews, like the map tools lately. I really am liking the way this is all integrated. This is another one, not clunky in any way, shape or form. It's smooth, it's flowing, the lighting, the texture palette, the colour palette. It all just works. It's a, it's a really, really nicely put together uh, map. We've got a feed mixer just there. I, I, I think we covered most of the equipment. Bale trailer which can be obviously converted into a regular trailer if you want. So let's grab this and put that down and drop that off. Because this one runs a little bit faster than the other one. Let's swing around. So the town is all interlocked and interlaced. Everyone knows everybody. The little bars and bistros and restaurants and stuff. People work in the fields, they work hard, they play hard. That's what the description says. Sorry about that, Monsieur Le just popped out to ask me if I wanted a cup of coffee. How lovely is that? So, to our right, we have got the swimming pool. Very nice, look at that. Swimming pool, it's a little town with a swimming pool. And we've got a swimming pool bistro, cell point. I tell you, I've been to plenty of swimming pools here in the UK. Not any have got a bistro. <laughs> We've got things that pretend to be a calf, but never a bistro. That's a bit fancy, isn't it? So swimming pool with bistro, cell point. Then across the way here, we've got the vehicle shop, gas station, and workshop, which is all here, interlocked. This is the reset point of the map. And over the back here, we have got the cell point for the Vela Schenk restaurant. So that's restaurant Schenk or Schenk restaurant. The restaurant is around the front, but the cell point is around the back here. We're going to head. Oh, if I make sure I get this right, I'm looking at my route. Yeah, back up into the back up into the village. I think that's right. Yes, we're going back past the front of the first restaurant which is just here there you go and then on the corner here we've got another restaurant so restaurant cell point just there little pond it's such a picturesque little place it really is lovely now when I said about various different plots there's another little plot coming up I think it's plot 43 I want to say so plot 43 is just to our left just there If you buy that you get access to the shed we have got sawmill just here it's fairly standard it's, it's wood in planks out 
from the sawmill. Uh, just next to that, we have got the dairy, which again, whilst they are all customised, because they've all got the um, sort of labelling, but the signage for the town and the names of people that own them, that kind of thing, which I think is lovely. I think it's absolutely fantastically done. So, um, Westerwald Milch, just here. That's the standard dairy. Then across the way, we've got the sale point just there. Uh, land handle, so that's land trade, land sale, Altaika, which is just there. So, sale points and things all the way through the town. And it's like I say, it's, it's all so interlocked. So we started the main farm there, went out to that pasture there, did the little production, came across the swimming pool bistro, vehicle shop, back of that one there, restaurant Valashenk, restaurant, little point there, plot 43, then sawmill, dairy and sell point. And now we're going to head just down here, because here, at plot 51, is the next farm. But I'm going to need to put some money in, so bear with me just a moment. That should do it. So... If we click on there, plot 51, do that and that. We can go across the road. So we started at Werderhof, Wehlerhof, and we are now at Dorfhof. Pull in just here to Dorfhof. Sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger is just there. If we come down the side, and we come around the back here, we've got our cow barn. Cow, well, yeah, cows. Five out of 45, like I say, all the farms do have them. Bale and pallet storage at 250. There's a football pitch around the back there. Um, if we come across into here. Now, this is an interesting one because this says multi silo, or it says yeah, multi silo. And if we go into uh, build mode and silos under required mods, that's, normally I'll check to see what the capacities are. The only one I could find that was a double was that one, which says Hoff silo on it. Um, so as far as capacity for that one goes, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it does say multi-silo. Putting in and taking out. Barn and building space. Just here. And then on the end here, we've got a fermenting silo. Now, this is curious as well. Uh, if we go into our... No, back into... That's the one I want here. And we go down to this. So fermenting silo, Dorfhof. Grass silage and chaff silage, which is what it says it will do. But if we go into build mode again, and this one will require going to productions, factories, and go there. So that one there, the Hessian fermenter silo, it does say missing function forage factory. Um, and that says it does chaff, straw, grass, and hay. But it's only giving us two options. So I don't know if that's been adjusted by the map maker to only allow us to do the two in it or there's a reason why it's not doing all four that it would usually do uh, but that's a fermenting silo just there and then some more barn and building space just here now if i just quickly whiz out onto the lane and around the corner just here we have got the um sports club the sports club this is the sports club sell point although there are deer on the pitch now but that's all right so sports club sell point like I said, restaurants, clubs, all sorts of stuff. It's all very good. Back down through the farm. Now, of the five farms on the map, like I said, when I came in and I removed the buildings and things, all of them had the option to remove decoration because the cell points, the cell points, the sleep triggers on all of the other ones are a building with a bench. Um, I could remove everything on here apart from some of the decoration. Things like the water pipe thing here. Uh, what else was it? Some of these bits and bobs here. This whole strip of stuff here wouldn't go. Um, so you were left with a few bits. I don't think that silo would remove either. And I, I'm not quite sure why. Like So that seems to be kind of in addition to. So yeah, this was the only farm where all the stuff wouldn't go. On all the other farms, everything was removable. So from here then. Hang on a minute. Did I write down dairy, standard, sawmill, standard? What was the production I needed to purchase? Oh, yes, yeah, a bit further on. It's all right. It's all good. Because it was the first one that had the strawberry milk and stuff. We can carry on a little bit further down here. To our right, we've got the bakery, just there. Fire station to our left. Now, this is... Um, I suppose I didn't talk about that at the start, which I normally do. Seems like a lot of traffic. 
if we go back to our map, normally I will say this is the map and I will talk about prices and field prices and whatnot. I didn't talk about field prices. Um, they're mid, I suppose, middle of the road. There's none that go up into the millions or anything like that. We've got a bit of forestry here and there. Field prices are, yeah, I would say in the mid range. There's a few plots that are smaller that are a little bit cheaper. Um, so small to mid, nothing massive. We're going to get out to that bit in a little while. You'll see that when we go out there. Um, so yeah, nothing horrendous. But then there are patches in the middle here of the town you can't buy. So whilst we have got these little ones like plot 43 and 41 and the farm, that kind of thing, there are a few plots that when you click on them, you can't purchase that do have things on them but don't allow you to purchase the land. I meant to say that earlier. Apologies for that. Now on the corner here, oh, this is all going to pot now, isn't it? Look caused an absolute carnage on the corner you can see two sell points one to the right one to the left the one to the right is the village market the one to the left is the farm shop they're both sell points and they are both on this corner i'm certainly saying that because we need to head straight on we're going to come back past here but as soon as we're here and we're going past it i thought i'd mention it so what we're doing now is heading down to the animal dealer and the animal dealer has also got straw and feed sale. That's not, that's for you to sell. So if you've got any excess of anything you've produced, um, you can sell it. So animal dealer and straw and feed sale. Normally the animal dealer sell points are for your bale type things. So animal dealer point just here and out the back. There you go, sell point, straw and feed sale. We've got another little plot just down here, which has got a shed on it, just in amongst the trees. So again, if you want to buy the little plot, you've got access to the shed. I haven't tried buying that one to see whether you can remove the shed, so I guess while we're here, we might as well try that. Let's just whiz round into here. So, this little plot, just here. So we're now here, plot 42. We buy that, do that and that. That should give us access to the shed to open the doors. And potentially, if we go to demolish... Yeah, we can remove it if we want to. Oh, do you want to sell the small garage for zero? So you don't actually make anything selling any of the buildings that's curious it's not in the world but so back up into the town we're going to go around that corner where those two cell points were I think because of the, the, the style that, that Carla does the maps in, it's it, I mean, of course it's going to feel a bit a bit like fruling, a bit like and you know any of the others we've done map tours on. It's like fruling but extended. It's you know it's very cool. We're going to take a quick left down here. This takes us to the grain mill, and there's a water point just here as well because a little. Um, water wheel on the back of this now again this is standard crop types in flower out if we want to purchase it we can 45 grand there you go so standard in and standard out you've got a little uh, water wheel around the back there and a water point but again there's plenty of mods so as far as water goes but there's a water point just over there now we're going to head out to the next farm. The next farm is Glukshof. Again, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing these things wrong. I think it's Glukes. So follow this road up and out of the town. Just off to our right, and you can see the horses in the field already. We'll back that up and swing it around. We're ready for our departure. So we go back to our map. We've come back up through the town to this point here. Then back out to the road and we are now here. Plot 17, 262,000. Do that, that and that. And our triggers all appear. Sleep trigger is around the back of that building. 
bale and pallet storage just there two million litre silo just there we've got barn storage and we've got a little exercise area for the horses just over there and again more shed and more barn storage and then we come around the back and that's where we've got our trigger and our information here for feed and whatnot for the horses we have six out of 16 already daisy hacker indigo freckles hope and admiral already in there if you don't want to do horses that's fine once you've bought the land these can be you can sell the horses you can remove the buildings and you can stick something else here whether it be another farm or production or whatever you want it's up to you plow the whole lot in make it into another field uh, i'm not sure how that would work with this with the texture and stuff but anyway um you can if you want to you can at least try so from here Turning up here. We have got Agricultural Goods Vestervald, sale point just to our right, just there. We go straight past there and out the other side. And we're going to come up on the next farm. Which is Windhof. This is the pig farm. It is interesting how, because of the placement of the forest, the way the trees are set up, it's kind of almost segmented into areas. You know, we've come out of the out of the uh, town and the area where the horse farm is. Then you kind of come through a patch of trees now to this almost like quarters really, and then you've got the pig farm out this side. This is plot eight. It's lovely sweeping terrain as well. So Windhoff, just here. Again, we'll jump in. So from the horses, we've come up here. Up past there. To Agricultural Goods Vestervald. Up along there. Oh, now we are. Plot 8. Purchase that, 238,824. Do that and that. And we have got... To our right, bale and pallet storage, 250. We've got a slurry tank just there. And we've got potato storage here, so a little potato silo. Uh, that's a 100,000 litre potato silo. And I think there's an extension you can get for that as well. Actually, we should have carried on around the back of it. So that tall blue silo just there is a 2 million litre multi-fruit silo. We come through here, we've got our sleep trigger at the house just there. And then in the back of this building here, we've got a workshop trigger. If I've got this right, please tell me it's in there. There you go, workshop trigger tucked just in there. Uh, and then as we come round, we come back past the pigs. This is quite a lot actually. We have eight in here. The trigger is just off the left hand side, dialogue box. There's eight out of 540 pigs that can be housed in the pig pen just here. So, we're heading up to the north of the map. We are heading west now, and we'll head back down again. So out up to the top. Just here, there's a little side turn in there, but we can swing into the front here. So this is the next production. Next door, we've got a building site. So from the pigs, we've come up to here. This one here, plot 44, if you purchase that plot, like that. No triggers come up or icons or anything like that, but it, is, it does give you the ability to remove all the stuff on here for the building site, so you can use that as a placeable point or again another farm or something like that. If we come around the back of here, just hop through the gap. So there is a little track that runs up around the back. Come to this production here. So this is production plant. Click on that. And this will do sunflower oil, canola oil, sugar beet sugar, sugar beet cut sugar, and French fries can all be made here. Turn those off. And then once we've owned that now, we can open the doors or dropping off. So this is your production plant. 
just here. From here then, continuing west. I do like how everything is signposted. We have got the debris crusher, which is just at the back there. Uh, we have got wholesale sell point, which is just around here. And then we've got a buy point. So the buy point is farm supplies. Now, I've said this before on map tours, if you're not sure about what you can purchase from purchase points, if you go into your menu and you go up into your prices, then go across and what you'll be able to look at then, like there, it says buying station farm supplies. If we scroll down now, all the things that you can buy from that farm supply place will show up on the right hand side under selling. So you can just scroll your way through and work out all the various different things that can be purchased there. Um, sometimes the prices are good, sometimes they're not. It depends how desperate you are for something. Um, I know on some maps the prices from a buy point are much lower and people will buy low, sell high and make a bit of money that way. It's up to you. And then from here we're going to cut through this gap. Now this gap here gives you an extension to the map. An extension for almost like pioneering. Um, sort of a no man's land style thing where you've got four plots of land that can be purchased through here. They have trees on them, they're just all grass areas, there's no productions, there's no fields already set, but it gives you that ability. So we are now, let's go back to there, we are now out here. I say four plots, not horrendously expensive either, for you to then create. Do whatever you want, it's entirely up to you. You can just all have, have it all as grassland if you want to. But if you decided you want to do something more, you know, if you feel that, you know, in your opinion or whatever, that the, the map might be lacking something or missing something, you might want to make that into an industrial zone, a little bit along lines of evergreen or frontier um, and have mining and stuff out there. You know, whatever you want to do, but it does give you the ability to do that if you want to. So that's that all done. We're now going to head south. So turn down here. Watch only turn down there. Whoa. There we go. So the plot we purchased earlier on for the pasture, that's just across there. So we're actually not far off the, the back of the start farm. That's the back of that pasture. So we come out and across here. We had agricultural goods vest of old. We are now coming up on tucked away in amongst the trees. Agricultural trade west of old. So agricultural goods and agricultural trade. Two sell points on the map. This one's tucked away in the trees just here. And we can sweep around, especially if we're using large vehicles or vehicles with trailers, articulated lorries, that kind of stuff. There we go. And then we head down to the final farm. Sonnenhof, or Sonnenhof, I think it might be Sonnen. So directly across, at the crossroads. Head on down to plot 48. I love that little bench just sat under the tree. Oh, my idea of heaven that is. Unfortunately, the weather was not so great up in the Lake District this last week we were up there, but I do like to do that. I'd go for a long walk somewhere and find a little bench, sit down, have a picnic. So, Sonnenhof, plot 48. So from here, back past there, followed that down. So we came straight across there. There's the pass we bought, down past there, and that's the point we went to agricultural trade. We're now down here at plot 48. Do that, 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 and that. Now this has a curiosity on it. Bale and pallet storage, we'll get to that momentarily. Sleep trigger is here at the house. Around the back there, we've got a two million litre silo, just there. Come around to the front, we've got our cow barn with sort of pasture on the side of it. We've got eight out of a potential 160 cows already out in the field. Lovely. Then we come around the side there, we've got a fermenting silo, just here. 
barn and building space, workshop trigger just inside there. And then we come round here now, according to the map, this here is bale and pallet storage. So I came round and I had a look, I'm thinking, that's weird, I thought maybe it's supposed to be on here. Um, but there's nothing, nothing showing, so I had a bit of a wander. I, I'm, I was baffled, I'm not going to lie, I was baffled. It was only when I came to start selling the stuff off, off camera, to see whether all the buildings here could be sold, and they can be if you want to. When I sold the animals and then sold the cow barn, in here, it will come up bottom right in a minute. I'm just going to do it. There we go. Bottom right, bale and pallet storage. 250 um i'm not sure what's happened i i can't i'm not even sure where the triggers are for it that's for feed unless it's it looks like it's feed as well maybe it's out there hmm, look, i don't know i think it's got kind of intermingle with this so i'm not sure it's supposed to be out to the side potentially the map will get an update Maybe that'll get moved, I'm not too sure. But if you're not sure where the, where the bale and pallet storage is, it seems to be intermingled with this building here. Um, and that's it. That's the map. Altaika Westerwald by Carla. And I, again, I apologise if I'm saying that wrong. Like I said, I've been told three or four different ways of pronouncing it. I can't remember which one was the one that was adamant it was the correct way. But anyway, so... We're down here. If we follow that road back, it takes us back down to where the, where the animal dealer was. If we come back up that way, we can go across and back into the town. That was where the swimming pool bistro was. Um, and that's the map. If I've missed anything, I do apologise. I think I've caught all the pastures. If we click on this, I'm just looking at all the little plots. I'm just going to buy that. Any of these ones that look like grass fields, there's always a risk. I say risk. Um, that they might be an animal pasture that you miss. I didn't see any troughs or anything, but it doesn't hurt to just have a quick check. I don't think I have. Um, that's it. Oh, squeaky. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.